What's the rush here? I'm definitely buying. I think Bill Simmons is right on the money. He's absolutely correct. It's something that's been reported ad nauseum, and it's absolutely positively true. Those three coaching jobs that he mentioned, all of them are possible openings in the event those teams lose in the playoffs. And if there are openings in all three of those places, all three of them are considerably more attractive than the New York Knicks job right now. You look at Phil Jackson, you have to understand it's almost similar or akin to some degree at what transpired in Los Angeles. Even if you hire a coach, no matter who that coach is, who is going to be clamored for more than Phil Jackson himself? He can talk about how he's not going to coach. He can absolutely positively mean it. But that doesn't change what New Yorkers are going to aspire for, what they're going to want. You're the 12 or $10 million man, depending on if you listen to reports or the New York Knicks organization as, to, as, as it pertains to what he is earning. He is getting that money because he is an 11-time champion as a coach. It certainly ain't because of what he's doing as an executive executive because he's never been an executive so that is the situation right now that's the way everybody's looking at it how much does that hurt his head coaching search well, I don't think it hurts. You know what? It's a legitimate question in terms of it could possibly hurt if you're going out there to get a coach who already has established credentials. But it doesn't affect you if you're talking about a guy like Steve Kerr, who knows him, who aspires to be a head coach, who's never been a head coach before. I look at Steve Kerr. I don't want to knock him at all. The man's basketball acumen is, is big time, okay? And I think he's a quality executive. It's just that when I look at Steve Kerr, the Steve Kerr that I know, I see a general manager. I see an executive. I see a lead of an organization on that level as opposed to somebody who is going to be assigned to go into the locker room for 82 games to conduct practices for six to eight months a year to be that guy on his grind every day galvanizing troops motivating them I don't see Steve Kerr as being that guy I could be wrong because who would have thought Jeff Hornacek would have been that guy in Phoenix and he's done a fantastic job but I do have to see it to believe it as a coach. When I see Steve Kerr, I see an executive. Mm -hmm. I don't see a guy on his grind in the locker room motivating Melo and Amari in them every day. Uh, I don't see that. You're not buying it. Mm. Uh, when you talk about Phil Jackson here, he's got a team that he has to turn around. How long is that going to take? Well, it, it depends. I mean, the bottom line is that we know it's not going to take next year because they ain't going to be able to do but so much. 2015, it depends. It's contingent on the free agent you lure there. If you're Phil Jackson... Who can you lure to New York? If you lure LeBron or Kevin Love or somebody, it changes everything. If you don't, then the New York Knicks' miserable tendencies continue into perpetuity. Who knows? Mm.